Good morning. Don't I look crusty? <laughs> Always. I don't care. I don't care. <clears throat> I started to have it turned around the other way, but. Uh -huh. What's up? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, Lord, what is this on my book? Hello. Where's everybody at work? I'm joking. <laughs> don't, don't smack me. <laughs> Somebody gonna be like, whatever, wench. <laughs> How y'all do it? How y'all do it? How y'all do it? Hey, boo. Did you um get picked for New York? Are you going to New York? Hi, baby. I haven't showed the scene yet. <clears throat> What's up, girl? Beautiful Barbara. <sighs> and just to hear this water, too. That's all I'm talking about. Let me walk through. I'll walk through. I'm about to read my read my book. Do my this is my uh well, I have to do work. This is my reader master. Ad. This is my law of attraction plan. Uh, hey girl. Oh, I wanna read this to you. Uh, keep your thoughts positive because your thoughts become your words. Keep your words positive because your words become your behavior. Keep your behavior positive because your behavior becomes your habits. Keep your habits positive because your habits become your values. Keep your values positive because your values become your destiny. All right. Hey, man. Hey, Kim. What's up, girl? Man, I got to see you next time I come to Columbia. Girl, I was just in Columbia the other day. We have got to catch up. Hey, Miss Renee Ward, the realtor uh, extraordinaire, <laughs> beautiful queen. Okay, so I'm going to give you all the, this is how I'm supposed to be waking up. Renee, I know you're not in Houston, but you got to help me find my house there, girl. <laughs> when I finally stop running around, look at this scene, though. This is how you wake up. I'm not even joking. This is how you're supposed to wake up. God, thank you for giving me this, this wake up scene. This is how, look at that. Can't you imagine just, do y'all do visualization exercises? I do them all the time. So then when I visualize stuff like this and then I wake up in it, I'm not surprised. I'm going to be real honest. I'm not surprised because I visualize stuff like this. Of course, one day this will be my permanent home. This scene like this. Look how the sun is just starting to just come all the way out. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. The beauty of it all. I love it. God is faithful. This is how you're supposed to wake up, though. I ain't lying. I be visualizing this stuff. Them feet look a little high. That look like nine feet or something. I don't mess around. Hey, Marquita. What's up, girl? I am in Tampa, Florida, you guys. I woke up in Tampa. I woke up in Tampa. I did. Yes, I ain't comb my hair. It's all good. I just put it on. <laughs> mm. I hope y'all read um, a little bit this morning. If you're an entrepreneur, make sure you are reading at least 30 minutes a day. I'm actually going to get back into this old classic of mine from my network marketing dad. But look what look at my bookmark, though. Let me just show y'all my bookmark. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Let's show you my bookmark. They said... It's okay to be a copycat, as long as you're copying the right cat. That's my cat. <laughs> the right side of money. The godmother. The right side of money dot com. Dr. Dorothy Cook, baby. I would love to read this 
entrepreneur prayer for you all. Today I ask you to please give me wisdom in all my decisions, knowledge in all my transactions, and understanding in all my dealings as they pertain to my business. Keep me, God, from being deceived into legal transactions. And I set my heart to walk to integrity no matter what monetary potential is available. I know the only way I can be a prosperous business owner is to remain pure in my motives and conduct my business accordingly. Is to remain pure in my motives and conduct my business according to your word. I commit myself to do that now, Lord. Help me to turn away from all temptations to climb the ladder of success by stepping on others as I go up. I pray that I never become so engulfed with my work that I forget my primary purpose in you to minister to those around me. I thank you for your supernatural strength working in me that overcomes all stress and anxiety. Family, I thank you, God, for blessing my business. Finally, I thank you, God, for blessing my business. I know that as I put you first in every area of my life, as well as my profession, you and I stand in covenant relationship together. Because you and I are partners, I expect the windows of opportunity to open up to my business and your great blessings break forth in my life. Then I can and will bless others and give towards the preaching and teaching of the gospel. Thank you for helping me see this great truth in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Did y'all hear the pay sister read Tamar? She said, you know, you be hallelujah. That was a good prayer. I enjoyed that prayer. That prayer was from Dr. Cook. Hey, Antoine. <laughs> uh -uh. Natasha, what's up, girl? Hey. I was giving a sneak peek. Of, um, you just jumped on, Antoine. Let me let me scroll around one more time for you. This is how you're supposed to wake up. This is how you're supposed to wake up. This is how you're supposed to wake up. I give God all the glory, cause this how you supposed to wake up. Hey, Bookie Nook Nook, I can't believe I ain't see you while I was there. I'm gonna spank you. I love you. I miss you. I'm gonna see you when I come back. What's up, girl? All right, just going around again. That's my reading spot. I'm reading to this scene. Look at this scene, though. If you wake up like this, of course you're going to be in good spirits. What you say? I woke up to God's glory, God's creation, God's worship. This is worship right here. Looking at his creation, the water, the pretty green grass. You got to smell this type of stuff when you're doing your visualization exercise. Don't sleep on it. I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all might think I'm weird, but the stuff that I... Do I be doing it like in real life? I do my visualization exercises. I do my reading. I do my visualization exercises. I have my my vision board is here with me. Yeah, I do that, and I write out what I see and what I want to see. And this is how I want to wake up every morning. Again, this is how I want to drink my coffee. I want to drink my coffee like this. I ain't lying. Y'all gonna come visit me? Ew. I just don't want to live in Florida. I almost moved to Florida, though. Almost. I lived here years ago. Years ago, years ago. H-Town, where it's at for me. Visualization works. You better tell them, Antoine. You see it. You see it. You about to go to Hawaii, ain't it? Ain't, it? ain't you looking at them Hawaii pictures? You better have Hawaii all over your phone. Hawaii better be all over your phone, man. Because Antoine is going to earn a trip to Hawaii in his company. I'm so excited and happy for him. I'm excited. Antoine, I pulled out the old archives. <laughs> you see it. My network marketing dad. Hey, dad. Eh, eh, eh. So, about to get into work. Let me just show y'all real quick some of the little work that's in this, in this journal. In the Janelle. Finally found somebody to do my nails good. I love this guy. I will be flying in town for him to do my nails forever. 
questions to empower your day. Every morning or at night, I will um, go through these questions. What am I happy about in my life right now? What about that makes me happy? How does that make me feel? I do the work, though. I know I'm a little nerd. So when you having like emotional vibration, these are affirmations that go with it. Visualize daily. Meditate daily. I do that. Spend time in nature. Uh oh, I love that. Accept and let go. Okay, so let me give somebody an example today. If you're feeling frustrated, I'm sorry, y'all. Frustrated, impatient, boredom, pessimist, irritation, or overwhelmed. These are some affirmations you can say to counteract that. Hey, Charlene, how are you, beautiful? Hey, Evangelina. Okay, I let go easily and see the light in me. Hey, Chanda, I accept and let go. I trust all is well. I choose to see the light that I am to this world. I compare myself only to my highest self. I focus on progress and decide to let go of perfection. I am patient with myself and others. I give up the habit of criticizing myself. Amen. That is so awesome. I think I want to touch on this one before I go. I don't know. This just hit me. And honestly, I have been one that have been um, able to um, go through life with depression. And... So I want to read this one. Depressed, insecurity and guilt, unworthiness, fear, grief, powerlessness and victim. Depressed. When your emotional vibration is that of depressed. Are you making them grits? Oh, <laughs> I'm about to get some grits, y'all. Ew. I'm going back keto next week <laughs> for those who ask. <laughs> I am loved. Despite my sadness, my discomfort will not last forever. I am separated from my depression. It's just a feeling I allow myself to let it go. I oh. oh well. It's just a feeling. I let go of fear. I love and approve of myself. This situation works out for my highest good. I kindly ask for help and guidance. I am safe and sound. All is well. No. It will not go live. I love y'all. <sighs> yes, there it is. Oh, all right. I'm finished. This is so crazy. All right, here we go. I'll finish it off. See, when I start talking about uh, depression and trying to counteract depression, the enemy going to make the phone mess up. All the time I was just showing views, the signal was clear. But look how the enemy don't want people to be free because that's his power over people, depression. I have had to fight depression for years. The devil is a liar. I am loved despite my sadness. My discomfort will not last forever. I am separated from my depression. It's just a feeling. I allow myself to let it go. I accept and let go of my whatever you fill in the blanks easily. This situation works out for my highest good. I kindly ask for help and guidance. I am safe and sound. All is well. Amen. So just try to get you some affirmations to speak over yourself daily. Action steps to feel better, to increase your happiness. Visualize that your dreams have come true. Feel grateful as if your dreams have come true. Give love and embrace love around you. Take action on your dreams. Follow the flow and enjoy the journey. The devil is a liar. Ain't he a hater? Girl, he cannot stand people getting free. Oh, demon. Write down your goals and everything you love. Write down your why and your purpose. Visualize your dreams and take action. Make a vision board while listening to your favorite music. 
Do the work. I'm going to be sharing uh, some of this stuff with you all on a more consistent basis. I promise I will. I love this planner, though. Oh, my goodness. It gives me so much life. So I'm going to finish reading before my look at this. Create harmony on all levels. Create a mind map for your goals to live a happy and joy. Look at that. See the books I'm about to put out. Only believe my conference. Only believe my faith conference. I will be doing my conference um, and my memoirs of faith. Volume one and two will be out 2019. I graduate from Sandy Trim School of Ministry. <laughs> Yay. I'm already an ordained minister, but I am going to Dr. Cindy Trim's, uh, hey, Andresha, Dr. Cindy Trim's School of Ministry. Yes. Now, look, y'all about to see something crazy. I think I'm going to do a sneak peek. That's crazy when you try to think of goals and stuff, and sometimes you just can't think of stuff. So right now, I only have like 21 things on here, and I still have 50 to go. Look at this. Wait a minute. Hold tight. All right. Y'all know I got this little new snazzy phone, so I can't use it that good yet. <laughs> she finally got a new phone. So, here you go. Hey, boo. Oh, I did it. Oh, shoot. Here you go. Okay. Oh, you see the first one? What that say? Oh. Millionaire with rebirth. Oh. What is that one? Inducted in the Hall of Fame. Oh, finally do three books this year. Oh, launch Crazy Wild Freedom. Oh, look at this. Range Rover, y'all see it. I got a long magazine. Look, y'all know I'm a meter. Don't sleep on it. Oprah, look at that. Look at that. Eh. Trip to Bali, trip to Phuket, trip to Paris. Trip to Dubai, trip to India, billion dollar income. I ain't finished. I'm just getting started. Look, I got more space. Hey, as my visualization grows, my goals will grow. And God will do it because I am doing the work. Oh, okay, wait, here's another one. Um, Let me just show you this one. Hold up. Trip to Africa. Check. Y'all know I wrote this down. Um, when did I write this down? Last year, but either way, it's done. Trip to Dubai, trip to London, trip to Mexico, trip to Puerto Rico, trip to Canada, and a cruise. That's just the beginning. And I promise, I'm letting y'all see that now because guess what? You're going to see me go to all these places this year. Bam! You heard it. You saw it. You hear me speak it because I believe it. I know it. I show it. I do it. I walk in it. I believe. I believe. That's why I'm putting out my book, Only Believe. Only Believe. Only Believe. That's why I might have a little spirit of David on me. Not that good. Not that good. Mm, not that good. You know, David wasn't that good. But David was a man after God's own heart. And guess who is? Your girl, Tia! When I tell you God loves me, he loves me. And so with that, <laughs> it was counted under Abraham as righteousness, his belief. Because I believe, I'm the righteousness of God because I believe. I believe everything the words say about me. I believe everything the words say I can do, have, be, see, move, everything. I believe it. I just believe it. And because of my belief, it is counted unto me as righteousness. So I might do some things that people think that's not that holy, not that perfect. Keep telling people. She'll have a cocktail every now and then. Yes, she will. She will. But um, for the saints, yeah. But you have to understand, that's why some people are in church every week, every week, every week. And not seeing the fullness of God, not seeing the abundance. He said, I come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. If it ain't more abundantly, then you ain't having life and you're not living life like it's supposed to be. Break out of that stigma of being behind. Break out of that stigma of not having enough. 
Come on. <laughs> don't do it. Mm, that's my baby right there. Y'all don't know. I love me some A to live. That's my little baby. But I'm telling you now, you got to break out of it. There's a stigma attached to church folk that in their mind, they don't believe they're supposed to have more. That's why we, you end up going to heathens because they want it. I told them on the call yesterday, as far as my um, business was concerned, I said, we're trying to keep this in the kingdom. We want it because we're attracting amazing men and women of God in the kingdom. We want to keep it in the kingdom. I said, but I'm going to go to the strip club and find me a Stormy Wellington if y'all don't want it. If the church folk don't want it, I'm going to go get me a Stormy out the strip club, okay? Somebody hungry that don't want to strip no more, mm -hmm. that want to make a million dollars. I'm going to do it. I'm going to look for her. She around. I'm going to keep speaking her. See, I'll speak her enough. I'll speak her enough. Let me tell you what happened. I kept saying I want somebody. I'm trying to open up territory all over web. If, if it comes to my mind, I'm opening it up, okay? The prayer Jab Jabaz is, is real in my life. He will enlarge my territory. He's enlarging my territory in real life. He enlarging it in real life. And so, listen. Oh, Lord, I hate it when it gets blurry. Okay, there it is. I was speaking. I'm going to open up Tampa. I'm going to open up Tampa. I'm going to find me somebody in Tampa. I don't know where I'm going to see. And I have family here. My cousin is almost a sheriff in Tampa. So, it ain't even about family. Because you know how family do. <laughs> They normally don't support you. I need somebody to know that. Who was that for? I don't know who I'm speaking to right now, but somebody need to hear that. Stop waiting for your family and friends. I need you to get out on the streets and go talk to strangers. Everything I've done has been because of strangers. God blessed me this one time to send me somebody that I already knew, that have already had association with, to help me build this organization. Dr. Marsha, shout out to my first platinum in rebirth. Shout out. But, it, but it's not a surprise, though. I've sown so many seeds into that lady's life for the last 12 years. I'm sure over 12. <laughs> sow seeds. And I've always wrote on my seed. Every time I wrote a seed to her, I wrote for the Elisha and the Elijah anointed. I said, I want what you got, but I want the double on that. I want that anointing. I want that demon slaying anointing right there. I need that. She look at demons in they shape. When she wake up, they be like, oh, my God, Marsha Bailey is up. The devil is a liar. So it got like that for Tia, yeah, because of the seeds I saw. He said, oh, Lord, that little Negro Tia is up. That little picking any child. <laughs> Why she up? She's up because my assignment ain't done. Guess what? I'm going to get up every day. With long life will he satisfy me. With long life. He will satisfy me. He will satisfy me with long life. With long life. He will satisfy me. He will satisfy me with long life. You need to sing that to yourself sometime. That's a word. That's a scripture. It's a praise and worship song also. But sometimes you just got to encourage yourself that I'm going to be here with long life. He will satisfy me. He will satisfy me with long life. With long life. Uh, he will satisfy me. He will satisfy me with long life. Yeah. Uh, I confess that over my life. Hey, Mother Kilby, I confess that over my life. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against me in judgment shall be condemned in the name of Jesus. I speak that. I speak, I shall live and not die and declare the wondrous works of the Lord. I speak that every day because I know the devil want to sift me as weak. He want to take me out. I know that for a fact he wants to take me out. Mm. He's been trying to take me out since I was a little girl because he knew what I was going to be. He saw it. He saw it. He saw it. But before I came out of my mother's womb, mm, 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 God ordained me. Baby, you got to, hey, God is faithful. God is faithful. I love y'all. I love y'all. Let me see who I'm saying hi to this morning. Who we have on the TBTB2. Hey, Superior, we are continuously lifting up the baby. We are lifting you on the coal up, keeping y'all in our prayers. I declare supernatural favor surrounds y'all as a shield. I believe policies and procedures will change on your for your behalf. Policies and procedures will change to benefit me. I speak that every day as well. Policies and procedures change to accommodate 
me. Believe that. Stand on that. That policies and procedures will change for you and Nicole in the name of Jesus. Declare it. Hey, Nisi. Hey, Mother Kilby. Hey, Lacey. I love y'all. I love y'all. Oh, my goodness, Marcella, girl, we got to talk. We got to talk. I'll be back in Houston soon. We have to talk. But Nita, I love you. God bless you. God bless you. That's my birthday twin. I love you all. And I am getting ready for my next uh, coaching uh, call. That's what I do. I do. I do coaching. I do personal development. My whole morning usually just be running all the way through. But I skipped Hazik this morning because he does have a replay. And I can play his Facebook Live and replay that. But I wanted to jump on and share God's glory with everyone because I'm so grateful. The gratitude is so strong in my life. And I want people to see the girl that was washing up at the Waffle House with her child or taking a shower at the gym so I can get my child to school. The girl that slept in the car with her child. I want them to see how she wakes up in the morning. God is faithful. I love the God I serve. I promise you I do. Like I said, I'm David. I ain't perfect. David done got the lady pregnant, tried to tell her husband to come. <laughs> come do it to your wife, nigga. <laughs> David, did, the man didn't do it, so David had him killed. Mm, David had him killed. He was a gangster. I guess God loves the gangsters. He calls his gangsters to the kingdom. <laughs> I love y'all. I'm the thugs pastor. We out. <laughs>